American Pickers star Frank Fritz's shockingly low annual antique store sales, revealed as conservator takes over shop. Hello everyone, my name is Alana B. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up American Pickers star Frank Fritz's shockingly low annual antique store sales have been revealed as his conservator, has helped manage the shop following his debilitating stroke. Frank, 59, is the owner of the antique shop Frank Fritz Finds in Savannah, Illinois. The U.S. Sun can exclusively reveal Frank Fritz Finds estimated annual sales per Experience Business Valuation Report. Frank Fritz Finds estimated annual sales are reportedly $25,000. The company's business credit score 27 and is medium risk. According to the report, this score predicts the likelihood of serious credit delinquencies within the next 12 months. As for the financial stability risk ratings, the shop received a medium high risk of 4 out of 5 rating. The report claims this means there is a 10% potential risk of severe financial distress within the next 12 months. A lawyer for Frank did not respond to the U.S. Sun's request for comment. The U.S. Sun previously obtained photos of the store appearing emptier in March 2023. An insider told the U.S. Sun in March, there hasn't been a single new item in the store. An employee told me new antiques come in literally never. When asked when the last time Frank was seen at the store, the worker replied, in years. Frank Fritz finds customers have complained during the owner's absence while recovering from the July 2022 stroke. One customer wrote in December 2022 on Google Reviews, it was supposed to open at 10 a.m. When we went and the lights were not on and antique sales lady was late, according to another worker. She did open up the antique sales for us, which is not heated so be prepared in the winter. There were a decent amount of actual antiques that were reasonably priced. Definitely cluttered. The staff was a. Another recently wrote, I was a huge fan of the show. I stopped in to give Frank support and see what all the buzz was about. The place looked like an episode of Hoarders. Staff was rude. Just disappointing. How is this place in business? Frank's close friends filed an emergency appointment of a temporary guardian and conservator for the star on August 18, claiming his decision-making capacity is so impaired from the stroke. The conservatorship papers exclusively obtained by the U.S. Sun revealed plans to revamp the store. The initial plan filed by conservator Midwestone Bank read, Mr. Fritz is a well-known collector and has numerous outbuildings full of valuable collections. The conservator has not yet inventoried those items, but plans to leave them largely as they are now, with the exception of stocking Mr. Fritz's antique store in Savannah, IL as needed. Conservator is hopeful, Frank will be able to participate in selection and pricing of items, as he did previously. The U.S. Sun previously reported a notice of delinquency for conservatorships was filed on June 2 after the inventory report was not filed by the due date. Frank's conservator filed an amended initial financial management plan and an inventory report on June 27. Midwest Stone Bank requested to seal the inventory of Frank's real property and monetary assets, as well as his whereabouts because he is a well-known celebrity. The judge on the case approved his conservator's request to seal the financial records. Frank last appeared on American Pickers during a March 2020 episode, as he took time off to recover from back surgery that left him with 185 stitches and two rods in his spine. During his time off the show, Frank lost 65 pounds. He also told the U.S. Sun that he entered rehab for alcohol addiction in Yoa for 77 days. Frank revealed his feud with co-star Mike during the 2021 interview with the U.S. Sun. Frank said, I haven't talked to Mike in two years. He knew my back was messed up, but he didn't call me up and ask how I was doing. That's just how it is. The show is tilted towards him 1,000%.
I can't even bend that far down to show you how much. That's fine. It's like you've got Aerosmith, and there's Steven Tyler, and he's the front man. I found my spot, I'm second, and he's number one on the show. That's no problem with me, maybe he does have a problem. But a friend told the Quad City Times that Frank and Mike had a tearful reunion over Memorial Day weekend. The pal said, this was not a feud between Mike and Frank at all. They were not feuding, they needed separation to appreciate each other. The friend explained that the longtime buddies' relationship became tense after 11 seasons of working 10 hour days, seven days a week on the reality TV show. She informed the newspaper that Mike and Frank were both in tears during their long awaited reunion. The friend disclosed, both were crying, before adding that Mike brought up how nervous they both were to be going on David Letterman, which was one of their first big appearances. Mike told his former co-star, nobody can replace you, Frank, while admitting that it was Frank's uniquely funny personality that contributed to them working so well together for the 11 years they spent making the show. The arrangements were made after Frank told the friend, I need to talk to Mike, so she called the TV personality on Mother's Day to make the plans. The insider ended, Mike really stressed all the good times they had before the show and during the show. Mike did say he'd like Frank back on the show, but Frank is focused on his health. The show currently stars Mike, his brother Robbie, Danielle Colby and guests including Jersey John. The U.S. Sun also reported on Antique Archaeology Nashville's estimated annual sales per Experience Business Valuation Report. Antique Archaeology Nashville's estimated annual sales are reportedly $903,000. The company's business credit score is low risk, meaning there is a good probability of on-time payment, according to the report. As for the financial stability risk ratings, Antique Archaeology received a low risk of 2 out of a 5 rating, meaning a 1.11% potential risk of severe financial distress within the next 12 months. A rep for Mike and Antique Archaeology did not respond to the U.S. Sun's request for comment regarding the report. Topics Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, American Pickers 24, and stay with us.